Formerly a hop farm in Cooperstown, New York, this Belgian-style farmhouse is now home to New York's premier Belgian-style ale brewery. They're not really a microbrewery per se, but the time and precision and patience they put into their product really makes them something special. Let's go explore Brewery Omegon. The Brewery Show is brought to you by Hoptopia. Colorful craft beer, cider, and meat reviews at your fingertips. Available online or through the App Store and Android Marketplace. Visit Hoptopia.com today and follow on Twitter at Hoptopia. My name is Phil Leinhart. I'm the brewmaster here at Brewery Alma Gang. Uh, I've been here since January of 2007. Studied brewing over in Germany, worked at uh, Powell Honor in Munich. I worked for the Lion Brewery in Pennsylvania and then went to Anheuser-Busch for 12 years until this opportunity came up. Founded in 1997 by Don Feinberg and his wife, Wendy Littlefield. Uh, they were and still are Belgian beer importers. They own a company called Van Bergen De Wolf. 2003, Duval bought all the other partners out and decided they wanted to grow the brewery. I'm uh, Jason and uh, I work for Brewery Home Again. I design all the new beers. Basically, I started a homebrew club. I was going to graduate school at Purdue and uh, met up with some chemistry friends that like to brew beer. And, we sort of meet at least once a month, gained an interest in it, graduated and then moved here and uh, started doing quality control. Felt like I needed to do a little bit more creative stuff and luckily Brewery Home Gang needed uh, somebody to work on new beer development. All our beers are pretty much Belgian-influenced, Belgian-inspired. We produce some classical styles like Saison and Our Widow, which is our take on a white ale. Uh, Abbey Double. Um, you know, we add our own little Omegang twist to a lot of our beers. They're traditional in a sense, but not strictly traditional. So we are improvising and innovating a little bit, and our bottled beers are all bottle conditioned in the Belgian tradition. I think sour beers is something we'll start to experiment more and more with. You can see we're fairly kind of hemmed in here, so our challenge is as we grow is creating more, not, not just putting in more process equipment, but creating the space to put it in. We do a lot of microbiological analysis. We have a highly qualified microbiologist as our lab manager. Basically, in a nutshell, we test every form of the process in the entire uh, brewery. So everything from raw ingredients to final product. We even do some weird odd tests, like if we're deciding to change the carton of the box, like doing uh, like structural integrity tests. We're starting to move towards a little bit of a molecular basis with testing, which is kind of new to the brewing industry, but it's something that we want to try out so that we're making sure that we're ahead of the game. If a batch goes wrong, it's my job to go through all of the data that we have gathered and basically finding out what went wrong that caused this issue. I think the biggest one we've had is beer that doesn't uh, ferment all the way, so stalled fermentation. Sometimes Belgians will visit us and they like the beer, or you know, my boss, or Michelle Marcat, the CEO of Duval Marcat, and he comes over and likes the beer. That apparently there's some interest in Belgium to uh, export our beer over there. Not anything real big right now. We're having a hard time just keeping up with our current uh, U.S. markets. My direct boss over there, Hedwig Nevin, and the lab manager will come over at least once, sometimes maybe twice a year. They just uh, we taste the beers, they, they, they see our process, see the capital improvements we're making. One of the other benefits that's nice being owned by a, a bigger company is they just had some packaging equipment that they really didn't have any more use for, so they just shipped it over to us. Our very manual line is gonna become more of a semi-automatic packaging line. Yeast, it's all about the yeast and the temperature of fermentation. And the uh, lagering yeast would prefer uh, a lower temperature, typically like 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, probably in ale, you know, more around 65 to 75. This was back uh, 100, 150 years ago. This was like the Pacific Northwest is now. This was the center of hop growing. The bushes had hop fields on Lake Otsego, just outside Cooperstown. And there's a big movement now. They just had a seminar a couple of weeks ago on hop growing where this cooperative came in from Wisconsin where they're growing and pelletizing hops. And apparently they've got a partner in Westchester who's going to build a pelletizing plant. And then it makes it possible for a farmer to get his hops to the brewer because not many brewers use hops in their native form, the whole, whole leaf uh, flowers. So 
I'm very interested in that, if we can get some locally grown hops uh, pelletized uh, and use them in a special group. Really want to start innovating and start exploring different beers and uh, I'm so focused on growing the brewery capital investments. The ideas come from everybody. Jason has ideas, I have ideas, the brewers have ideas and we've developed some of those beers into beers that we sell and Jason is the guy that really uh, executes all of that. As we get more space, more real estate in here, uh, I think we're going to start to experiment with some different, different styles more and more. Some say Brewery Omegong is a little piece of Belgian heaven nestled in the countryside of upstate New York. They've been exploring Belgian style ales for so many years now that some might even consider them to be Trappist monks themselves. If you hadn't had a chance to try their Saison, Hennepin, their AL3 Philosophers, or their Rare Voss, pick it up in a store. They're pretty much found anywhere in the United States. Thanks for watching the Brewery Show. Until next time. watch the brewery show. Now subscribe to us on Facebook and iTunes. If you don't, I'm going to throw Ian in the mill. Is it on? Oh yeah it is. Let's go. Come on. No, no.